welcome back. I um, decided to go for a walk to go check our mail and take you guys along with me so you can see the nice snow and the country and just have a nice relaxing walk with me. So let's get to it. As you can see, puppy has been all over the place. And then of course, we've got some cat tracks too because living in the country, you can't not have feral cats and they seem to really like our property. Now I know the end of our driveway has a nice puddle at it, so it's probably all icy. And then of course you got your neighbors across the street making a ruckus. Lots of mooing. There's more cows. They're all looking at me. Like I'm crazy and maybe I am. I'm the crazy lady with a cat with camera. All right, let's try this again. I completely forgot the mail key. Yep, that's right. I need a mail key to get my mail. I don't know if anybody else can see that, but there's a lovely scenery behind me. And the sun is finally peeking out from the clouds. Isn't that awesome? Oh, Nice cold day. I think before I left the house, it was, was saying it was minus seven. So I'll try and put that down below for uh, all of us in um, out there that are, might be Americans or use Fahrenheit. Beautiful church over there on the hill, which we'll be walking past in a little bit. All right, so any kids that are out there watching, and some of you parents and adults, you never cross the street without looking both ways. So since I'm coming up to the corner, let's do that. So you look up that way, nothing. Look that way, nothing. So it's safe to cross, let's cross. And when you're walking, you always walk against the traffic. Except for I've taught my kids that once you get to a blind hill, like what you see coming up ahead of us, I will cross over so that the cars coming this way won't need to worry about me and the, the ones behind us can see me still. Then once I hit, hit the peak, I'll cross back over and walk the way I'm supposed to. There's the church. Almost there. There we go. Isn't it pretty? It's old too. Now, I don't know exactly how old. I'd have to look that up. But isn't it pretty? Old country church.
All right, let's continue on. Still got a long ways to go, as you can see, down the hill. But we're at the top of it, so it's time to do the whole nothing coming from that direction. Nothing coming from that direction, so we cross the street. There we go. And if you look, look at those views. Aren't they amazing? Here, I'll zoom in so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? I swear sometimes you can just get lost in the beauty that is the scenery out here in the country. But let's continue on. I mean, look at that. Little pockets of beauty everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see that, but all the way down there, that's timing. That's the mailman. I got timing, don't I, people? Now look at that bird tracks. Isn't that neat? Go all the way over here. They're probably pheasant tracks. But they come up the hill here and they go across this way and then all the way across the street. I think it's kind of neat. The things you find on your walks. And there you go, you can see our mailbox. It's a community mailbox. See out here in the country, usually we have mailbox or mailboxes at the end of our driveway. But after the snowplow took us out several times and being that we were essential workers and needed our mail, the mail uh, Canada Post gave us a box in our community one. So there it is. So for anyone who hasn't seen one before, this is what a community box looks like. Got places for big packages and all that sort of stuff. And it's kind of like a peel box out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if you can see in there, but there's all the mail that was in our box. We don't check for a while, it builds up. Okay, so grab my mail. Nice little snack over here to take home. That's a Canadian Tire Flyer, if, nobody, if people are wondering, if they don't, but there you are. Time to head home. So we're across the street, and the camera's a little cold, so I am going to put you in my pocket, and I will warm you up and bring you back out when we're getting closer to home. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's this cool effect around the sun right now. It looks like a, there's a halo around it. Honestly, I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not. Looks pretty cool. And then I had a question for all you viewers out there. Why is it when you're walking and you approach a hill like this, it looks so much better when you're going down it than when you're going up it? Am I right? Oh, that looks like a big ass hill. Oops, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that online or not. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? It's all still a learning experience. So as you can see, I'm about, oh, I'd say halfway home. There's that Piscrest view again. The church is up on top of the hill there, just ahead of me. Got some really nice snow through the trees over here. And everything, so there's the lovely hill. And yeah, it looks 10 times worse than it actually is when you go down it. So there's that, so no traffic that way. No traffic that way. We cross the street so that all traffic can find us or see us. There we are. All right, here we go. Me walking up the hill. And as you can see, I have all my mail in my hand. I took off my scarf and my hat because it has actually gotten warmer out here. Not to mention the fact all the nice walking and everything like that. Sooner or later, you're going to get overheated. It's just inevitable. So here I am walking up the hill, taking my sweet hours time. Because, yeah, I don't want to overdo it. Pull muscle or slip and fall. Because, yeah, there's the ground down there. So, don't want to slip and fall. Always be careful when you're walking. 
especially in icy conditions for those of you who don't live in wintry weather. There could be ice underneath that and you could fall on your butt, hurt something, and all that sort of stuff. Wow, mailman just went past going back the other way. Ooh. Nice good walk. And yes, I'm climbing a hill, so now I'm huffing and puffing again. But it is still fun. I'll turn the camera around. See, there we are. Great views as you're walking, so. And then, of course, turn around. There is the church as we're coming up the hill. Looks like she's got some pretty good stain work. Or stained glass work, I mean. So. We're almost there. We're almost to the top of the hill. Yay! Whew. All right, just took a couple of pictures of the church. Kind of wishing I had brought my sunglasses because that sun's actually making it hard to see anything. See in the background there. And everything. And turn around. And you still see the church behind me. Yeah. I think I'm going to do some more of these videos where we're exploring the area in which we live. Because some of this area is very beautiful. Taking the kids for walks before, nature walks and everything. We found some pretty gorgeous stuff. Thanks all of you for joining me today. Alrighty, I made it to the top of the hill. You can see the hill behind me. See? I'm at the top. Look at all that behind me. And there's the road ahead of me. Actually, I think now I'm at the halfway point. House is over there somewhere. But there we are, I'm at the top of the hill. So what do we do? We cross the road. And then, yeah, living out in the country, you get these random farmer's fields. You got the church right there. And then a farmer's field. I think this was a hay field this year. But there you go. I was gonna say, I live all the way down there somewhere. There we go. All right, okay, the, continue. See, you can feel, see my footsteps from when I crossed over earlier. So, isn't that kind of cool? Here, see, watch. There's one of my feet steps. Put my foot there now. Oh, look at that. There we go, going to and going from. All right, see you at the bottom of the hill. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that, but look at that beautiful view. What you're seeing is the rest of New Brunswick, but all that in the background there is Nova Scotia. Comes from uh, living right on the border. Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Things you don't get in the city. Alright guys, and now I'm getting close to home, but I found these footprints. Does anybody know what they're from? I go all the way down the hill. So... Comment down below if you know what kind of tracks these are, because I'm not very versed on tracks. Alright, so here we are, walking down my road, heading towards home. Can hear people around me playing with their kids in the snow and just having a fun old time. Like the trees. Here they so beautiful. Yeah. We're down to the home stretch of getting home, so to speak. <laughs> Wonder if the kids will be up. I mean, school break and all. I get to stay up as late as I want and sleep in as much as I want. I wish I could do that. 
and I can't sleep for the greatest lay lately. Neither can the other one. Gotta love it out here too. Car just went past. I don't know the people and they waved at me. I love how friendly it is out here. And seriously, here we are in the final home stretch. There's the cow pen across the street. There we go. No cows. They must all be eating. Or being smart and staying inside where it's warm. All right. And as we approach, I just want to do this. It's all stagnant right now, or still. But there's our drainage ditch. Doesn't that look cool? There it is, and it flows this way. And down here, you see all the aquatic stuff down there. There's the... There. It's not clogged, thank God. We had some raccoons earlier this year that were making a nest or something. Under the driveway where you see all my feet and cat feet. And there's the drainage ditch on the other side. All the way down there. We have some wetlands down there too, so that's where it's headed. And like I said, here's the end of the driveway. So let's be smart and use this side of the where I've already walked. Around the big ass pond. And of course you see over here we have the kids play area. They're getting too old for that now, so I'll be even getting rid of that here soon and don't mind our dilapidated lying down shed. Too many winters of uh, harsh winds and ice and rain and a couple of hurricanes and yeah. Now if I stand here, there's our solar panels on our wind, and you can hear some crows in the background. So as you can see, I am definitely home. So let's go inside and see what time it is. I'm actually surprised I don't hear Missy. <coughs> All right, here we go. Up the steps we go. And there we are, the background, you can see there's Missy! Alright. Oops, bang off one shoe. Bang off the other. There she is! Alright, Missy, get out of the way. And just so everybody can see what time I got home. There you go. Proof positive that I, how long I took. Okay, y'all. I'm back at home now, so time to warm up. I already opened the Christmas card that my stepdad sent me and the family and it's a little difficult to open as much as I love my stepdad. It's the first year that my mom wasn't there to sign it as well. As if you watched previous videos, I mentioned that we lost my mom earlier this year back in September. So this is the first holiday without her and I miss her dearly. This is her favorite time of year. That's why we've been doing a lot of throwback nostalgia, favorite recipes, just traditions that she used to love. And I love memories of doing the same ones with her. So here's the card. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's so beautiful. My mom would be proud of you, Grandpa Donnie. You picked a good one. So, a <clears throat> bunch of other different things I had. Oh, pardon me, a little teary-eyed there. I had a bunch of other mail to go through, too. Just boring old stuff. Like I said, you guys saw the Canadian Tire Flyer and all that sort of stuff. Now it's time for me to sit down and, as always, drink my nice cup of coffee and warm up and work on my grocery order and list. So, for the next month, uh, that'll be coming up soon. I will do a video on the ordering uh, placing the order, making a list, and the grocery haul that comes to me once that's all together. So, uh, grab a cup of coffee, hunker down, and have some fun. <laughs> 